important question that has been raised by Ashutosh ji. Answer this, Shantanu Gupta. That is this being made into a Hindu test? Yeah. That every party has to give a certificate of Hinduism saying, you go on Jan 22, you are Hindu. If you don't go, you are a bad Hindu. Who are you to set up this test for them? See, Padmaja, uh, to my understanding, Sri Ram is the hero for this nation. See, his 14 years of journey taught us perseverance, taught us uh, courage. In fact, outside of uh, every Bharatiya learns from him, the, the kings of Thailand are called Rama 1, Rama 2, Rama 10, kings of Egypt called Ramses, right? So, not even every Bharatiya, the, 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 the global fraternity has to learn from him. And 22nd January will be the monumental day when Ram Lala is coming back. And the invitation is not given by BJP, it's given by Sri Ram Janbhumi uh, Tirth Chetra Trust. So it's not a BJP invitation. Yeah, though, though as you, you were discussing, the BJP has put their bait behind Ram Temple since 1989, the Palampur resolution. And the opposition used to take them pot shot, Mandir bhai banayenge, Tariq nahi batayenge. Today the Tariq is there, 22nd January 2024, and then you have the invitation. Just uh, CPIM has made very clear they are not going. For them, maybe if they are party is their option, maybe going to a lot of Christian. Pinari Vijayan goes to multiple events of Christian Service Society, CSS, drop of a hat in Kerala. I have personally seen, seen those events uh, uh, during my visit to Kerala. But that's a personal choice of CPIM. They have made clear. But what about Samajwadi party? Will they go? What about uh, Congress? Will they go? I doubt. Because... See, for Rahul Gandhi, who goes to the temple, he goes to the temple, he goes to the temple, Ram doesn't exist, hmm. right? Uh, 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 Kejriwal ji's grand, uh, grandmother was very, very sad that why the temple is being built, someone wanted to make a hospital, someone wanted to make a toilet there. So for them, they will run for arguments. And you are seeing on your panel, people are running, the, all the people who never wanted the temple, now they will run for arguments. What will they, what will they do on 22nd January 2024? And, and and by the way, this is not just about one this thing. You said one comment of Shafiukur Rahman, Rahman Burke is being hyped up. I didn't even want to mention what Swami Prasad Maurya said. Yesterday he has said Hindu dharm ek dhoka hai. Hindu dharm ko kuch logo ne dhanda bana diya hai. And anyone in Uttar Pradesh knows what the connotations of those words are. And it's been far too long, Ashutosh ji, that this has been dis dismissed as I, personal. I, I when it suits you, you come out and say, ye dhanda hai, ye dhoka hai, ye leprosy Padmaja, hai, ye HIV Padmaja, hai. And then you are like, hum to jayenge Ram Mandir darshan karne. Padmaja, can I ask a simple question to my, my BJP uh, friend and Shantanu, both. For me, Bhagwan Ram is a god. I, I think that he's a god. Then why you call him Mahapurush? These are the two contradictory statements. If he is God, then he is God. He can't be said that he is a human being. Now, the, the, the dichotomy is when it suits to them, then he becomes God. If it doesn't suit to them, then he becomes, he becomes a human being. Okay, Shantanu for, for, is for responding. Us, for us, for us, for me, I'm not, I'm not a practicing Hindu, but I think he is a God. If he is God, Okay, I think we went into a slightly tangential, more philosophical play. But let Shantanu Gupta quickly respond to this. Yeah. I want to bring in the left. Yes. Exactly, 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 exactly. Uh, see, Padmaja, Sri Ram started as a king and by his conduct when he returned after 14 years, by his sheer conduct, he came as Maryada Purushottam Sri Ram and he became a god for a for, for lot of people. And that's how people, just by his conduct, he, he, he came in body and flesh. And he was the seventh avatar of Vishnu. And when he, the way he conducted himself in those 14 years, he lost his kingdom, he lost his wife, he almost lost his life in, those, uh, in the war, the biggest battle he took against Ravana. And he never cheated for a day. And even Mahatma Gandhi called the way Rama conducted, that is the epitome of governance. And he called it Rama Raj. From, from Egyptian kings to Thaish king to Mahatma Gandhi, everyone considered that is the epitome a human being's conduct couldn't take and that's why he's prayed as his conduct is prayed as Bhagwan Sri Ram and but his you know, Baal I have to admit, temple I is am coming not back and all to the be people an I repeat myself in this kind of a philosophical debate about what is the nature of existence of Lord Ram so I will leave it for another day I will definitely have to read much more the political aspect though whether you think he is a Mahapurush whether you think he is a God the point is at one point we were told that the very idea of Ram is unbearable in this country if we are to be called a secular country. And that same argument today is also being advanced in Mr. Yechuri saying, I will not go. Advocate B.N. Haksar. So